Any expertly more sus is here with some spooky inspiration to get everyone in the mood for Halloween. She even and brought her own costume. She even dressed up for us, which I think is absolutely <laughs> awesome. And I love that everything that Lee Moore teaches us is easy. So this is, um, let's just start with this. This is a box tomb. Yes, this is a box tomb. Uh, so what I've done here is everyone has, you know, shipping boxes around their house. Sure. So instead of buying a costume, I made one. And this is an ice cream sandwich uh -huh. uh, made out of the Amazon Smile Box. Boxes. Yeah. So basically what you can see is I just took like the, I opened the box on the outside, on the inside, and then on the outside you make them flat like this. Okay. And then you, so you put them like one on this side, open one, put it in the center, and then t attach them all together, and then just put black craft paper on uh, one side with little holes, and then just uh, white What'd you attach them with, a glue gun? Glue gun, or you can do like glue dots, or you can do whatever, rubber you know, any cement. adhesive, a rubber cement. That would be fun. You could do the Elmer's adhesive glue. There's so many glue but options. Alima, <laughs> What I'm going to do, I'm going to ask you to do for this segment is to think outside the box. <laughs> <laughs> all right. For all of us who are going to be hosting some Halloween goodies, and I think, you know, it's so fun for the kids. We do a little Halloween party at our house, but as you know, every year I wait for you to come on because then we just steal all your ideas. Exactly. So to, uh, this is, you know, so every year I make your hot dog mummies and we have those today, but I have some other ideas for you as well. So. You don't, if, especially if you're having a pre-trick-or-treat party, okay. you want to make sure that you're getting the kids something hearty to eat. Yeah. And so this is actually one of my favorite soups. It's uh, from Idaho, and it's their creamy uh, potato soup. And all you do is you just boil water, pour the mix in, and it's ready in five minutes. And then what I've done here is I just took little cauldrons, Yum. and I poured the soup in there, and everyone kind of just kind of grab it and drink it. And it's really nice and hearty. And it really is like a restaurant-quality soup. It really is just so delicious. So clever. But takes, like, no time to to make. So just getting the cauldrons at a craft store and then that yeah. makes it cute. And that's great because they can run around with them. Exactly. Yeah. They, they can even walk around yeah, uh, with them as well. I'll just give this. I know it's a little cold. But I'm just <laughs> it's right. been out for a little while. But spooky it's deviled eggs. Okay, so spooky Ooh, that deviled. Is good. It's good soup, right? It's really um, good. So these are spooky deviled eggs. So what I've done here uh, is I actually, to make life easier, I just bought the eggs already pre-boiled, like in a bag. Oh, yeah. Uh, cut them in half and then just take out the yolks, mix it up with mayo, salt, and pepper. And then I made spiders out of olives. So you cut them in half, and then you just uh, start slicing them, and then just do three legs on one side and three legs on the other. But then as I was prepping, I was putting the eyeballs, the olives in, and I realized They're they look like eyeballs. So you don't even have to make the spiders if you don't want to, and you could just put the, you could just slice the olives in half. I and actually am thinking that you could just put one black olive in the cauldron, and that would look like eyeball <laughs> soup. <laughs> Exactly. So the just, next is my favorite of all time. This I make every year after you taught me yes. to do it, and they, they go. Like, I never have one left. Everybody, the adults eat them, the kids eat them. My husband wanted to make sure that I made extra for him last night so that he would have them. So these are mummy hot dogs. You just take the Pillsbury uh, crescent rolls, you uh, make them really thin, and they actually they actually uh, have crescent sheets now, so you don't even have to, you don't need the whole, like, you don't need, like, the, it's on the triangle anymore. So that it's actually fantastic. much easier to do the strips. And you cut in strips, and I know you just wrap them and just around. Wrap them around. And you just, it, it doesn't matter if it gets messy or whatever, because it just looks good and when you put but them all together. leave a little spot, because sometimes you'd put the mustard eyeballs in. Yeah, on. so sometimes I put the mustard eyeballs in. Today I didn't do that, but you can you can do that, or uh, you can probably just take a little piece of the uh, olives that you're using and just put them as eyeballs as well. That's so clever. So clever. So then we have boo -nanas. So basically, uh, what I've done, my little one is obsessed with bananas. So what I've done here is I just slice them in half, put little chocolate chips for eyes, and that's it. And that's it. And that's they, don't you really, said they don't brown very fast. They don't brown very fast. I mean, you can, they will brown, so you want to do it probably right before people come over or the kids come over, but they will take, I mean, this has been out for probably an hour at this point, and they haven't browned yet, so uh, it will take a little bit of time. Amazing. This okay, so now amazing. we're going to make spider donuts. So you guys ready? Okay, so I'm going to let you guys okay. uh, come over this way. So Maybe. basically... All kids will like these because they come from Entenmann's and Little Bites. <laughs> yes, exactly. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you take white icing and draw um, a spider web on top top of the uh, the rich frosted donut. So they have the little ones, but you want to make sure that you're getting the, the large size one. And basically, to make the spider web, you just make circles, like three circles or something, one smaller than the other or one bigger than the other, depending on where you start. And then you just draw lines to make it look like a spider web. That is so clever. And, and then you take these the... come already piped. They, and they, they, they come these... already piped, yes. Yeah, so you can just get that right. And I'm going to have you all help these me open those a little bit. bags come already, like, filled. Yeah, the bag, the piping comes already already filled or they even have ones in squeezy bottles that you can actually microwave to make them a little bit thinner. We have about a minute, just oh, want to give you a heads great. up. Great. So these are the Little Bites uh, chocolate chip mini muffins. Okay. They're great. They come
come in these individual packs so you don't have to like open the whole thing and you can actually use these for like lunch bags as well. So what you want to do is once you're done with that, and I already have one done for you, yeah. um, is you're going to put the little bites on top of the muff, on top of the donut, and you're going to take little um, pretzels and you're going to cut them. I've already have a couple of pre-cut for you. And then just take little googly eyes. And here, this one is already kind of half done, so, so you can the, see. The little bite just fits right in there. And it fits right into the so, donut hole. Isn't that so cute? Okay, before, I want you to see your boo mix before we run out of time here. Okay, great. And then that's it. And then you have a spider donut. Okay, so the boo mix, really easy to do. All you do on the bottom is you just have popcorn, or you can use kettle corn as well. Okay. Uh, put some pretzels. It might get lost here, but I actually use that and... Um, pumpkin pretzels. pretzels. Then you just put some uh, candy corn in there. You put M and M's, whatever you want. Uh, mix it all together, and then I put a little bit of the eyeballs just to make it a little spooky. And serve your drinks in bleakers, which you can get at, at beakers, <laughs> which you can get at uh, Michael's. You, yeah, so. you can get uh, yeah, or you can order them on Amazon wherever you uh, if they run out. So they're really easy to do. Uh, really fun. All right, you're gonna find more holiday themed food and craft ideas on Lee Moore's website. It's LeeMoreLoves.com. Thanks, Lee.